Good day there. My name's Andrew from Virus Safe Pest Management, and today I want to talk about cockroaches. Uh, I don't like cockroaches at all. They're a real pain. They they spread all sorts of different viruses and uh, bacteria. They're a real uh, pain of a pest, and when they get a hold, they really do get a hold on a home. They can blow up microwaves, fridges, anything electrical. I've even seen them invading in uh, in children's beds and getting under pillows and all sorts of things. So. Let's look at uh, firstly what they need to survive. They like uh, messy conditions, so plenty of food. They like uh, heat and they like lots of water. So in saying that, the main target areas that they breed in is kitchen areas, bathroom areas, any, anywhere there's a, a good water supply for them. Now uh, with the cockroaches, there's a few different species, so we'll quickly go through them because their uh, their harbourage areas are different, and that's the main thing I want to show you. So we've got the German cockroach here, which is um, it's only a small cockroach, and it has the two GT stripes or the the black stripes running along the pronotum at the back. Uh, then we've got the uh, the banded cockroach, and uh, it has the the stripes running across the body. Okay, the brown banded cockroach there across the body. The, uh, the other ones are large cockroaches, so we're getting up into firstly the uh, Australian cockroach. Uh, Australian cockroach has the two general stripes running down the, the tops of the wings. And um, the uh, uh, next one in size will be probably a smoky brown. Um, that's a complete honey coloured cockroach, coat colour and uh, then we get up into the largest of the cockroaches that we have here in Australia which is the American cockroach. So um, look these cockroaches different harbourage areas as I said the German cockroach there it uh, can produce 22,000 cockroaches if left um, unattended to in one year. Okay so it can transfer sexes and all sorts of things it can come whatever it wants. Um, so that one we need to get a hold of quick if it's getting into your home and um, the areas that it's going to be coming from are behind fridges, inside microwaves, any cracks or crevices underneath the kitchen sink where it can get access to plenty of water and uh, it just gets into everything. It, it's a, a filthy cockroach, uh, it regurgitates its food uh, which we call gurgy. Gurgy is just thrown everywhere, it's how they break the food down with the enzymes in its, uh, in its gut. So it chucks up the food and breaks it down with the enzymes and bleh, goes for a few cycles of that filth. Um, and then that's left everywhere for us. So that's how you can see it. It's a big disease spreader. Now, um, to get rid of that cockroach, we want to know where it's coming from. And the best way to do this is with a little, little trick that uh, professional pest controllers use. And it's used more so in commercial premises because we go there at night and that's a yellow filtered lens. Now if you've got yourself a torch, uh, you've got your torch, you need a lens on the front. So just a yellow gel. Um, if you can't get access to a yellow gel, go to the newspaper shop and pick up some yellow cellophane. And that needs to be put over the front of your torch. Okay, you don't want no white light showing because they'll run when they see white light. As soon as you turn the kitchen light on, they've gone. So. We want to be able to uh, detect them without them detecting us because they can't see yellow so they don't know we're there. So the trick is set your torch up, wait till night time comes, it gets very exciting I know. Um, wait till the night comes, don't turn the kitchen light on, walk in there with your yellow light and you'll be able to see exactly where they are, they'll be all over the place. And um, then you can see where your hot spots are. So if you see them around the microwave, you know, right, microwave's a target. If you see them over near the fridge, you know the target's a big uh, harbourage area. Once you've detected where the harbourage areas are, we know how to then, or where to go about treating. Now there's a, a few different things we can do to treat them. First of all, we want to talk about a powder. Boric acid, okay, which is available from your chemist or pharmacies. Uh, you want powder, not granule. Uh, and mix that with uh, a little bit of, um, of sugar and a tiny bit of um, cocoa, cocoa powder. Okay, mixing those two together, ground up into a fine dust, makes a great um, attractant for them. And what we do with that, we put that in a puffer. Now, the simplest way I can see you making a puffer at home without going out and buying one is your normal water bottle, just your small water bottle with um, a straw and a cap. So I might make this up and put it on my website so you can see how to do it. And uh, all you do is drill a hole through your, your cap, screw it on the bottle, slide the straw through, seal it, 
and um, run it so far off the bottom of the bottle, put your powder in, do it all up and it's a puffer. Okay, so I'll make one up and put it on the website and you'll be able to see how it works. And then that dust, you want to put that into any cracks and crevices you saw the cockroaches coming from. Okay, so the straw will flatten and go into cracks and just give it a light dusting. Don't go crazy and clump heaps of dust. It's a fine smoke of dust we want to go through those areas. That will do everything we need to do for those harborage areas. The other thing we can do is bait. And bait is, um, again, you can mix it up with boric acid, um, cocoa powder, and uh, also you can use your sugar again and uh, make that into a paste this time. So you want to add a bit of water to this one. And that can be left in um, just little lids out of the way of the, of the children, maybe under the microwave, behind the fridge, and they'll consume that and that will wipe them out as well. Okay, your larger cockroaches, they're a little bit uh, hard, to con hard to control um, because they're normally up in the roof voids, behind cavities and stuff. So sometimes you may need a pest control if you can't get them under control, but if you, you can see where they're coming in, I'd go straight for the bait system with those fellows and uh, that should get those under control. Okay, so I hope that's been a great help for you today. Um, certainly visit my webpage uh, www.envirosafepestmanagement and that'll give you the uh, information you need on how to build the dust, dust bulb out of the bottle. And um, yeah, there's lots of other tips as well. And don't forget to check out some of my other videos on uh, how to treat certain pests at Envirosafe Pest Management's website. Thank you very much.